Morning guys, <clears throat> it's almost 8 a.m. here. I got up about an hour ago. Oliver jumped in my lap right away. He's being good this morning. He's so cute. You're cute, aren't you, Oliver? You're just a cute little boy. You're a cute little boy. I'm Oliver. I'm awesome. I'm an awesome cat. Yes, I am. I'm cool. He <laughs> is cool. I love him. He's going to be so much fun in the camper. If you guys watched that video, I know it's eight minutes and it got off to a slow start, but he was just cracking me up last night. <clears throat> so I got like six hours sleep, which I actually thought I'd gotten more. I felt like I'd gotten more when I woke up. Just feeling introspective this morning. Um, I'm not feeling anxious or anything like that just excited and a little bit impatient like i gotta wait till friday to get my camper oh you know what i should probably tell you guys so i came up with a game plan for getting it home uh, i bought some walkie talkies from amazon they'll be here soon my dad's gonna come down there with me it's a four hour drive down there but it's not a four hour drive back up because it's a camper and i'm gonna have to drive slower and it's gonna be my first time so it's going to be an all-day event for us. So I got some walkie-talkies so that I'm going to drive the camper home because he's not going to be on my insurance. He's on my Jeep insurance because um, I got my parents a car a couple years ago and I just take care of that for him. And so he's going to be on my insurance with the with my Jeep. He can drive that. I didn't think he could drive the RV. I'm not sure. but um, Anyways, I want to drive it anyways because... Well, I just got to be brave, right? So I did a lot of chatting with ChatGPT last night about it, and I'll share that in the comments. Um, I'm just going to have him behind me. He's starting to attack me because that's just how he is. Oliver, be good, dude. Be good. Don't bite me. It's not nice. It's not nice. Be nice. Um, so... I'm gonna, so after I go to get it Friday, <clears throat> I'm just gonna stay in their parking lot and just get used to it, adjust the mirrors, do some, put some tape on the windshield and, you know, that helps you line up your lane, stuff like that, all the stuff that I've learned, so... And then I'm gonna to drive it home, which I'm gonna just say, let's say it's six hours instead of four. And I'll have my dad behind me in the Jeep with the walkie-talkie so he can just kind of let me know, you know, how I'm doing. Just, it's like a second set of eyes that will make me feel a little bit more confident about what I'm doing. Because you got to get it home, right? I bet a lot of people go through this. Um, he can just reassure me when I can turn into another lane, like, you know, all of that. And, you know, when I have to get gas, diesel, now it's diesel. You know, my dad was a truck driver. He'll be able to help me, like, all of that. So I'm going to record some of that when we're on the road. I think it'll be a fun trip for us. So, um, But I had a very long conversation with ChatGPT about how to be safe about this. And I just want you guys to see how useful of a tool this is. I, I use it all the time. So I'm just going to link that chat in the, um, as a comment below. And just check that out because... You'll see why I rely on it so much. Why I ask it questions. Like, you'll see how I use it. Because you... Once you've used it long enough, you start to understand, like... Um, you start to understand how to navigate a conversation with it. I don't really know how to explain this. So, like... You'll see how I'll be like... Um, it'll give me an answer... And I will follow up with it on different points about the answer it gave me. And then I will go back up and I'll look at what it said and I might refer to something else. And you just keep building this conversation with it and you learn a lot. So maybe look at that and, and you know, you might like that. Um, that's about all I'm going to say for now. I got this weird thing going on, you know, that I had my implants put in. 
there's like tightness right here and it feels like it's in my left nostril a little bit it's been like that since the beginning i think i might need to call them it doesn't hurt at all it just feels like a tightness is up there and it's the only one and i know that that one was different so there's four implants in my mouth that one was different like it had to go in at an angle and then to the left or something weird like that so there might you know might be nothing they can do about it and maybe over time i just get used to it it just feels a little weird i can't really describe it but it doesn't hurt so i think i'm probably fine don't feel like they're being rejected and happy about that because i can't wait to actually be able to wear teeth again you know uh, you know, I, I do have bottom ones and like in temporary top ones, like I said, but just, it just feels weird. I don't know, just this morning. Um, and they're beautiful when they're in, so I really can't wait for that. So that's it. I'm just feeling introspective this morning, you know, kind of a slow start. I've got to, it's Monday. I was wrong. It wasn't Saturday yesterday, so. Um, it's time to go look at towing unit stuff and all of that. So, yeah, I'll just leave it there for now. I hope you guys have a good day. Yeah, good Monday.